Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, scientific student! Wow! Welcome to our science class! Sure ka na, hindi na pang calculus? Hindi na, hindi na, hindi na. Science okay. talaga yan. We are done mga anak sa ating mga physics topics. And for this particular topic, magmove tayo sa tinatawag nating astronomy. Yan, at pag sinabi mong astronomy, involve Siyempre, na ang... sun, stars, maganda. Planet, so okay. diba? Okay, let's start with... Describing, describing the sun. Describing the sun. And oh, this is more Very basic. basic. Ang dali-dali. Pero so, nakakatawa yan. Oo, oh, nakakatawa yan. Oh, oh. Kapag sinabi na describing the sun, o oh, yan, alam na nila. Ayun na, may sun oh, oh. na. Oo, goodbye oh, na. Goodbye class. <laughs> <laughs> Meron tayong, of course, objectives. Una is... Ganda. To identify the sun's characteristics. And of course, to determine the different structure of the sun. Ayan. So okay. more on, ano na lang tayo, i-review natin yung yes. napag-aralan natin At basa, before. basa, basa, basa. Ganun lang naman, ma. <laughs> Siyempre, dahil love-love natin ang ating mga foreign students, hindi natin pababayaan na sila lang magbabasa. Bonggang basa ang gawin natin. Sasamahan natin sila. Okay? At dahil bumukulat ng libro, let's have, <laughs> oh, let's start our discussion with facts about the sun. Fact. Facts about the sun. Facts about the sun. About ilan, the sun. ilan ang meron tayo? Oh, okay, ito first. Ba, first is the sum of... Oh, baka magkamali ka dyan. The, the sum, sum of accounts for 99.86% of the mass in the solar system. O, oh, siya oh. ang mayroong pinakamalaking sakop. Um, sakop sa ating solar system. Bunga. Second is over 1 million Earth could fit inside the sun. Wow, Ay, sobrang, laki. <laughs> sobrang laki. Sobrang laki. Pero kung nakikita natin, yun, parang ano lang, no? Ibig sabihin, sobrang layo. So, kakasya daw ang isang million na Earth. Okay, doon diba? sa sun. Grabe. Can you imagine? Oh. Diba, kailan lang natin ako. Alam yun. <laughs> Third, the energy created by the sun's core is nuclear fusion. fusion. Katakot. Katakot. So, so sabog na lahat, 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 nasa galaxy. And number four is the sun is almost a, a perfect, perfect sphere. sphere. Hindi siya perfect Hindi na almost, siya almost lang. lang. Dahil I think sa kanya so, mga sphere. So, ibig siya may lubak-lubak siya. Oo. Oh. <laughs> May butas-butas. May butas-butas, gano'n. Wow. Pang-apat yun. Ano kaya ang pang-lima? Pang-lima, the sun is traveling at 220 km per Grabe, second. Grabe, ang bilis. Ang bilis. Ang bilis. Parang sa imagine. atin, 24 hours yung buong pag-ikot ng, ng sun. sun. Siya tuwing 220 km per, per second. second. Ibig sabihin talaga sobrang ang bilis. bilis. Talibog ang ipo-ipo. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, over 1 million Earths could fit inside the sun. Matawag na ulit. Ganun talaga. Ganun talaga. Na ulit eh. Oh, ulit din yung nalinlang pa. <laughs> <laughs> it takes 8 minutes for light to reach Earth from the sun. Mm. Ang bilis. 8 minutes. So, yung pag... pag Pasok ano yun, ng light. Bukang liwayway. Uh, bukang liwayway. Yung pagpasok ng Earth, ay ng sun, ng sun, ng liwanag sa Earth natin. 8 minutes lang pala. Grabe yan, no? Temperature inside the sun can reach 15 million degrees Celsius. Diyos wow. ko! Sobrang ini. Talbog ang, ano, talbog ang naksot na niya po. Ano yun sa pangasinan? Baka di lang. Uh, Atak-tak ya ba ao? Atak-tak ya ba ang diba? talbog? Uh -huh. And, number 9. The sun is classified as a, a yellow, yellow dwarf, dwarf star. star. Ano natin yun? Yes. Elementary pa lang tayo dyan. And of course, number 10, scientific name is Sol. Oh, yung sasunod dyan, di natin alam. Hindi pa nila alam to. Oh, number 11. Number 11. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ang sun daw ay? Nakaka-sunburn. Totoo oh, naman. Man. Oh. Oh. Pumunta ka sa beach na hindi nag-ano. Oh, Fun fact. Of course, Next, <laughs> mainit at nakakasilaw. <laughs> Ayan, para naman di tayo masyado seryoso. Oo, para naman di tayo masyado seryoso. Lagyan natin ng konting pa. Oh, hindi namin sinabi 11 at 12 yun ha. Oo, oh, naka-smile siya. Yeah, naka-smile. So, tandaan nyo mga yan, baka isali lahat yun ni Sir Sanchez. Nakaka-sunburn, mainit, at, at nakakasilaw. <laughs> at nakakatuwa yung spelling nakakasilaw mo, nakaksilaw. Ay, <laughs> jeje ko lang ng letter A. And, ayan. Ayan na. Let's go on with the structures of the sun or the atmosphere. atmosphere. We have two parts, the inner parts 
And of course, the outer parts. Let's start with the inner part. Ayan. Kapag sa inner parts naman natin, meron tayong tatlo. We have the core, radiative zone, and convection zone. zone. So, ano okay. nga ba yung sinasabi nating core? When we say core, Ma'am Tintin, it is the center of the sun where the heat is generated. Oh. Oh, diba? Yung kung sa labas nga, eh, sobra, kung dito nga sobrang init na init na tayo, eh, kumusta naman kung saan nagagawa. And, sabi pa sa aking research, Ma'am, ang sun's core, energy is generated by thermonuclear reactions creating extreme Wow. temperatures deep within the sun's core. Ang init-init dyan. Sobrang init. Yan ang pinakamainit. Okay. And we also have radiative zone, the layer beyond the core and heat. And heat there takes transfer by radiation. Okay. And, and of course, energy moves slowly outward, Ma'am mm -hmm. taking more than 170,000 years wow. to radiate through the layer of the sun known as the radiative zone. Wow. wow. Grabe, no? And lastly, we have our convective zone. Convective zone is the layer which is unstable due to convection. And of course, take note, ma'am, na kapag ang tinatawag natin convective zone, energy continues to move toward the surface through convection currents of heated end called gas in the convection zone. Wow, oh. meron palang mga ganun. No? Hindi lang siya, basta simple-simple naiinitan ka or mainit. Ganun. So, meron mga explanations behind that. And, And we also on, have outer our parts. outer parts, Kana. photosphere, chromosphere, corona. Pero yan, i-elaborate natin ng bonggang-bongga. Unahin natin si photosphere. Oh, yan ba yung litrato? Iba yun! Ay. When we say photosphere, the lowest layer of the sun's atmosphere is the photosphere. It is about 300 miles to 500 kilometers thick. This layer is where the sun's energy is released as light because of the distance from the sun to earth. Light reaches our planet in about 8 minutes. Kaya na sinabi natin. Ayun. So, the photosphere is also known as the sun's surface. So, it was the first part of scientists started to study. So, yan daw yung pinakaunahan. Pinaka yes, pinakaunahan ng mga scientists. scientists. Okay. As it can be seen even with our eyes. But of course, so, warning, warning always wear protection while when? or when looking at the sun. Hindi pwedeng... I-direct mo yung mata mo ang tumitingin sa sun. Kasi nga naman, Ma'am Tintin, uh, everything that occurs in this layer is strongly responsible for what happens in the atmosphere above. So, it is vital to study the photosphere. Yan. So, yan ang pinakaunang ipinag-aralan nila. Again, na, yung reminder natin, Sir Jason, always wear or wag basta-basta tinitingnan directly yung sun natin to protect your eyes. Yes, lalong-lalo na kapag naka, ano ka? Oo. Naka, ano tawag dito? Contact lens. Contact lens. Yes, so, yes, yes. And ano kinalaman ng pictures natin dyan? Oh, so, yan yung dalawang um, sample picture ng sun photos from Caesar Observatory processed by Abel, Abel de Burgos. De Burgos. The image on the left shows the photosphere while the image on the right shows the chromosphere which looks red. Ito yung photosphere, di ba yung picture na black and white? Parang mm -hmm. siguro yung inaano niya. And ito yung ating chromosphere. Okay. It's all about photosphere. Yes. Next is chromosphere. The sun's chromosphere appears as a rim of red light oh, yeah. during a solar eclipse. Okay. Chromosphere emits very little light because it is of low density. density. Yeah. So, meron tayong apat. EIT image shows the sun's corona in a different wavelength of ultraviolet, ultraviolet light. light. Chromosphere, ma'am. The chromosphere starts at the coolest point above the sun, which is 4,000 degrees. Okay, coolest. But gets much hotter. Okay, 8,000 degrees. Grabe. So, light of other wavelengths is emitted. And using special filters lets us see this light from the ground. Ito yun, ma'am. Yes, ito. Coolest hanggang sa pinakahatis. Hatis, okay. So, a typical filter is one that looks at the red light emitted by a hydrogen and other instruments are required. A, social, a solar phys physicist need instruments capable of detecting ultraviolet light. Okay. Ayan. So, 
SOHO carries EIT or Extreme Ultraviolet Violet Imaging Telescope. Oh, so, gumamit pa sila ng special um, telescope uh, uh, para makita yung mga Di ba tawag siyang EIT, ma'am? O Extreme Ultraviolet Violet <laughs> Imaging Telescope. Okay. Yes. And, of course, we also have Corona. corona. O, oh, hindi yan yung napapanahon ngayon na. Ah, kalong coronavirus. <laughs> O oh, kung hindi yun mami yun yung suot ng Miss Universe. Ay, ah, sige, sige yun na nga lang. Mas okay yun. <laughs> okay. The sun's corona is the outermost part of the sun's yes. atmosphere. The corona is usually hidden by the bright light of the sun's surface that makes it difficult to see without using special instruments. However, the corona can be viewed during a total solar eclipse. Ayan. Ayan na yung example. Okay. And for observing this layer, this last layer instruments capable of detecting ultraviolet and X-ray radiations are needed. Sabi nga natin yes. The sun's corona can be seen in visible light but it is one million times um, fainter than the photosphere and is still 1,000 times fainter than the brightest of the sky. Yes. For this reason, ma'am, sun's light emitted from the surface need to be blocked oh. so that we can see the corona at all. Yes. This is why solar eclipses are the perfect opportunity for studying this phenomenon. Yes. Because the photosphere is black and the sky is then also much darker. But we can block the surface of the sun as well with a coronagraph. Ayan. Oh. So, yan nga, nakikita lang natin yung bright light sa pinakagilid or sa outer na gilid ng part kapag meron tayong solar eclipse. Oh, Kasi nabablock no? natin yung sun, nabablock yung sun. Galing, no? Yes, okay. galing, no? And that's all about describing the sun. May yes. problema ka pa ba, Mante Tid? Mm, wala na. Ayan. Wala. Yan na yung so kanyang the, parang summary. Yes, the structure of the sun again. Ito po, corona is the uppermost part of the atmosphere. Ito yon yung nakikita ninyo okay. flare. Yung core is where the nucleus fusion occurs. Sa pinakagitna. Oo, oh, pinakagitna yes. yun. Radiation zone, yun yun, yellow. Then yung orange po is the convection zone. Okay? Yes. And chromosphere is the orange-red layer of atmosphere. Thousand of miles thick. Ito yun, yung parang nagsishading yes. na port. At photosphere, the lower atmosphere and what we see. Yun yung nakikita natin, kapatid. Yes. And, that's all about our module 15. Ay, meron pa. The sun as a star. The sun as a star. Alam natin na ang sun is a, a star, star. Pero Alam why? Natin. Ayan. Go, ma'am. The sun is a typical star in terms of mass, size, surface, temperature, chemical composition. The sun is what is known as a main sequence star. Oh. That is, a sphere composed primarily of the two gases, hydrogen ah, and helium. So, and the size of the sun compared to the largest known stars or the red giants that we call them is not very big. However, if compared to the most common type of star in the universe, the red dwarf or the sun is quite a big larger. bit larger. Oh, okay. syempre kasi oh, naman ng 1 million na Earth. Na Earth <laughs> diba? Hindi ko ba malaki yun. The sun alone <laughs> contains 99.8 of the total mass in, in the, the solar, solar system. system. Or sabi kanina, 99.86. So, kabuan, no? Kabuan. To be exact, yes. 99.86. Okay? Oh, meron pa. Surface of the sun. Okay? Yan na naman, paulit-ulit. <laughs> the photosphere is the visible surface of the sun. The sun is a giant ball of plasma, oh, okay. electrified gas. So, it doesn't have a distinct solid surface like oh, Earth. Oh, hindi pa sa natin, ma'am. Okay. Plus, may ibig sabihin. Oh, fun fact universe. about the sun. Na naman. Yeah. Ayun na. Did you know that? Like all stars, the sun will someday run out of energy. Yes. Ayun. When the sun... Mawawalan pala ng energy. Yes. Pero tingnan mo, ma mahaba-habang panahon yan. When the sun starts to die, it will swell so big that it will engulf Mercury wow. and Venus and maybe even Earth. Scientists predict the sun is a little less half than halfway through its lifetime and will last another 6.5 billion years before it shrinks down to be a white dwarf. Ah, wala na pala tayo nun, no, no. so matagal-tagal pa. And, and that imagine, is the fun fact about the sun. Hindi lang yung nakakasilaw, hindi lang nakakasahit. Oh, oh. Imagine parayon. kapag na ano yan, na anong tawag yan, namatay, pati yung tatlong planeta sa sakupin ah, niya, pwede, madadamay, madadamay, parang gano'n. 
and for us to be able to further understand our topic. Yes. O, oh, palawakin pa natin ang ating kaalaman about sa sun. Let's watch the... Let's, let's, <laughs> let's watch, watch this, this video. video. <laughs> While billions of stars are scattered throughout the universe, the one at the center of our solar system plays a special role for us here on Earth. Our Sun formed about 4.5 billion years ago in the Milky Way galaxy's Orion Spur. It was born when a cloud of dust and gas, known as a solar nebula, collapsed. And in the middle of this formation, matter condensed into a burning ball of gas that became our sun. The sun's fiery nature, along with a tremendous gravitational pull and an extensive magnetic field, helped it to become the heart of our solar system. The sun can be divided into six layers or regions, the corona, the chromosphere, the photosphere, the convective and radiative zones, and the core. In terms of atom count, the sun is about 91% hydrogen, the sun's fuel, 8.9% helium, and 0.1% heavier elements, such as carbon and nitrogen. Due to the sun's extreme temperatures, these elements stay in a gas-like phase called plasma. In the core, temperatures reaching at least 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, combined with the sun's powerful gravity, fuse together hydrogen molecules to create helium. Called thermonuclear fusion, this releases an enormous amount of energy in the form of radiation, electricity, solar wind, and, as we experience on Earth, life-giving heat and light. Such volatility is contained thanks to the sun's tremendous gravity. It's strong enough to hold the solar system intact and is primarily due to the sun's size and mass. Our sun is the largest and most massive object in the solar system. It's more than 100 Earths wide and could theoretically fit all eight planets inside nearly 600 times. It also contains approximately 99.8% of all the mass in the solar system. Because of this mass, the sun has a great pull on the fabric of space, creating a gravitational force that causes nearby planetary bodies to be drawn toward it. This gravitational pull allows the sun to hold together a system of eight planets, potentially dozens of dwarf planets, at least 170 moons, and countless comets and asteroids. Without the sun's gravity, these celestial bodies would drift off into deep space. Another critical property of the sun is its magnetic field, which encapsulates the entire solar system. Called the heliosphere, this force field protects the planets from harmful cosmic radiation. It's caused by the sun's plasma pushing electrically charged particles toward the star's poles. This process turns the sun into a giant magnet. Although the sun's magnetic field is invisible to the naked eye, its effects are noticeable. On the sun's surface are dark areas called sunspots, which mark strong pockets of magnetism. On Earth and on some of the other planets, the sun's magnetic field interacts with their atmospheres, resulting in beautiful auroras. Despite its size and strength, the sun will not last forever. In about 6.5 billion years, it will run out of its hydrogen fuel, expand to envelop Mercury, Venus, and even Earth, and then collapse into a small star known as a white dwarf. In the meantime, the sun will continue to play a critical role in the system that bears its name. The sun's protective magnetic field, tremendous gravitational pull, and ability to create vast amounts of energy will protect, contain, and give life to our solar system. <laughs>